bread boards so today we will discuss various aspects regarding the working as well as the other factors of a bread board so firstly what is a bread board a bread board is a rectangular plastic board with a bunch of tiny holes in it these holes let you easily insert electronic components to prototype an electronic circuit you can insert whatever electronic components like a capacitor or a resistor like that why it is called a breadboard what's the reason behind it so when you heard the name itself the first thing that might came to your mind will be the picture of a loaf of bread and a board which is used to cut it then why this circuit maker is called a breadboard and the answer is quite simple during the olden days when there were not much adequate technology was present people used these wooden boards as well as a nails for making their circuits and that's the reason why even now people are calling this thing as breadboard then how to use a breadboard okay you can see a lot of tiny holes in a breadboard let's categorize it into two the four columns of holes in the outer sides of the breadboards these are those are visible here and the holes in the middle so firstly let's think about the holes in the outer sides the holes in the outer sides are meant for providing power supply to the circuit which we are going to make in the middle portion of the breadboard hence these columns of holes on the both sides are meant for providing the vcc as well as ground now let's discuss the connections in these columns you can see five tiny holes are forming a cluster and 10 and 10 such clusters of holes are present in each and every column out of which the first five clusters are connected together similarly the last of five clusters are also connected together now two columns are connected here secondly thinking about the holes in the middle portion these holes are meant for placing the components here you can see 65 rows of holes and each and every row contains a cluster of five holes which are connected together so these five holes in a row are connected together they are short circuited the columns in the middle part are named from a to e in the right and f to j in the left part this column naming and row numbering will obviously help in specifying each and every hole for instance this hole is c5 so we can easily understand it or we can easily specify it using the numbering let's discuss about the division which is present in between the middle portion of this breadboard so talking about that until now we talked a lot about the connections which are present in this breadboard as we seen before as i mentioned before the lines which are present in the sides of the breadboard are obviously used for uh, power supply we can supply vcc in one line and five of such clusters are connected together and in another pin in another line we can uh, connect the ground similarly we can do in both the sides for supplying power to the components which we will place in this middle portion then why is the necessity for this division which is present in between so before going to that let's look into a dual in line package ic this is an atmega 328p dual in line package ic which is normally i mean commonly used in arduino uno and all so when we want to place it uh, let's try to place it here central push yeah then when we are looking at it the first pin as well as the 28 pin the second pin and the 27 pin and similarly all the pins will get short circuited since uh, pins in a row i mean since all these holes are short circuited the first pin as well as the 28 2 and the 27 similarly all the pins will get short circuited and if we try to place it horizontally actually we can't place it well but if even if we are trying to place it then also the first pin as well as the second pin 
second and the third all these spins will get short circuit and that's the reason why they they have given a division in between the middle portion so that we can easily accommodate this ic here that's it now no pins are short circuited we can easily get the connection we can easily take the connection from the adjacent holes which are present near to the ic leads so it's quite easy and that's the reason why they have given a division between the middle portion so thank you guys thanks a lot